Hello, I'm Eric the Car Guy. I have a channel on YouTube where I help people with their auto repair issues. I also help people on my website, ericthecarguy.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about flaring brake lines. Now, if you've ever used uh, this type of tool here, uh, you may have been a little frustrated with the results you've gotten. But Eastwood has a better answer, and I have it here in my vise. This is the Eastwood uh, line flaring tool. Uh, and I, as I said, I really love it. It does uh, sizes from 3 16 quarter inch, 5 16 and 3 8 It also does 4.75 millimeter. Now this is the 45 degree tool uh, that I'm using today. But one of the first things that we need to determine is here's a piece of brake line that I'm gonna flare today is what size line you're working with because you have all these different size uh, tools in here. You wanna make sure you use the correct one. And a quick way I found out about how to do that is to use a drill bit of the same size. This is a 3 16 drill bit. As you can see, it fits on here quite nicely. You could also measure this brake line and accomplish the same thing. I've just found, you know, just taking a drill bit, bit and sizing it up might make it a little bit easier. Uh, but we're going to put a double flare on this with this Eastwood tool. Um, we will get the 3 16 uh, 475 millimeter die here. I'm going to put down into the tool. There's two sides to this. You can make a different type of flare. I want the angled side is what I'm going to be using here. And before we get started, I want to sort of deburr the ends of this. So I might take a little piece of sandpaper and try to get off any rough edges that might have happened during cutting for starters. And then one more thing I'm going to do uh, when doing this process, I want a little bit of lubrication. And what Eastwood recommended in their manual is just a little bit of anti-seize. So I'll just put a little bit of anti-seize on the end there uh, to get things going and moving smoothly. Then you just take the line, put it inside the die, uh, and make sure when you put the other half on that it also has the angled ends. Drop it down in there, push in the locking pin, and I'm gonna leave it sticking out just a little bit like that for our first operation. Now what I'll do, there, there are different, on this die here, you can see there are different operations for different size lines. And this is the zero one. This is just a flat top here. By the way, they also make a 37 degree die like this that you can get if you wish to do 37 degree flares instead of these 45s. But we're gonna start with that zero. Put it down in like that. And remember, you don't want to tighten this down all the way yet. Just going to take the tool and run it flush. So this way we know that the line is flush inside the tool. And now I'm going to tighten it down. Now we're doing a 3 16 line here. So as you can see, I've got 3 16 and that's uh, OP1. I'm going to assume that stands for operation. And simply you do the same process. You just Pull on the tool until it bottoms out. When it does, you're done. And now what you've done is you've actually created a bubble flare inside of here. So if you just wanted a bubble flare, you're done. But if you want a double flare, which is what I'm doing, here's 3 16 op 2 right there. And same thing. I'm just going to pull the lever again until it bottoms out. And I'm done. And I just made a perfect flare. I need to tap it a little bit and get it to come out. But that's what we get for our trouble. Perfect flare on the end there. It certainly makes the job easier. Well, there you have it. A perfectly flared double flare. Uh, and this works on, like I say, brake lines, that type of fuel lines. Uh, anytime you need to create a flare, I've, I always reach for this tool. Anyway, I am Eric the Car Guy. As I said, uh, you can find me on YouTube under the Eric the Car Guy channel or over at ericthecarguy.com. Stay dirty, everybody.